Week number eight brings us to a brand new track for the Martin Sports Car Club League. And right off the bat, we are recording live this week, so it should be interesting. And uh, to start off, to talk about where we're at is my co-host, Lexi Plumley. Hello, welcome to Red Bull Ring. Yep, and what does a Red Bull Ring look like? This. It looks like this. It looks like a track. <laughs> so this one is in Austria and it is just over two and a half miles uh, pretty high altitude for the cars but the track temp is really low today which is nice so the weather is 66 degrees outside a little bit of a, hum a lot of humidity in there clear skies 10 mile an hour wind so a lot of wind that these guys will have to deal with today so we're going to get right into the grid since we are going live we won't have a lot of time to do all the fancy effects we normally do on a recorded broadcast so jesse olson is back on top with the first place of the qualifying of a 129.3, followed very closely by Vincent Cernudo, just eight hundreds of a second back. Uh, third place is Matt Montavo. Fourth, Justin Hall from Shut Up and Drive It, looking really racy this weekend. And fifth is Michael Day. Andy Gederick for ZP Motorsports, the highest uh, placement for any one of those team members. Uh, back in sixth, Daniel in seventh, his teammate. Matt Carroll, eighth from Friend Motorsport. Ryan Flannery, his teammate in ninth place. Robert Elder in 10th. Kevin Medina, MSCC uh, teammate to Jesse Olson on pole in 11th. Skylar Gregg is in 12th. Looking for the buttons here. Dean Dibdahl in 13th. A great job by Chris Wells in 14th. Justin Hall is in 15th. And yes, the other Justin Hall. <laughs> Those guys are still fighting for the title. We'll get to that later. Eric. Lessi in 16th, Nicholas Vincent in 17th in the lone Ferrari, uh, Ali Belge uh, in 18th, Michael Cabrera in 19th, and Bjorn in 20th. So uh, that rounds out everyone has, and there goes the pace car. I think he did it right on time. I know. <laughs> Couldn't have planned that any, any sooner. So we do have the lights up top, if you see on the screen, covering the logo and they will go red when it is time to go but after the pace car is off it is up to anybody at that point that they are able to go as far as the, when the leader takes off everyone else can go so we'll keep an eye on the pace car so are you excited about doing this one uh as everyone else drives at the same time i think so. you think so <laughs> well you know what's really cool about when we do it like this what? we get to use the replay feature more than once. More than once, that's right. <laughs> um, what is the black thing up there? That's the lights. So you're gonna see you're gonna see the lights so they go. Oh. That means the races go, the green flag is going. And oh there's some cars in the back that are taking a dive uh, in the inside and there they go and this is stacking up. So these first two corners here are pretty tight as they go through first one opens up but the next one at this long straight so stay off of that oh we have some cars going out and some cars spinning as well so look towards the back and everyone's recovered no harm no foul so going right back up front with uh, jesse olsen in a lead uh as taken from pole into that real tight corner and it reminds you a lot of hockenheim towards the back and those yellow strips they've done there are a lot like a uh, speed bump and they will upset the car and send it either one way or the other off the track but not down the track that you want to. So on one of the back straights that they have here, Jesse Olsen leading into a second gear corner of a 180 degrees before they go, what they would call it more like the infield uh, because uh, it's on the inside of the perimeter of the track. We've already got a tie for the Shake and Bake Award. We do, look at that, Eric and Ollie already made up 10 places before half a lap is over. That was probably one of those two guys on the back of the field that were just tearing it up. Uh, and here we go towards uh, the back and still everyone is getting racy. Look at that pack up there with Dean Dahl. This, this right here, um, hey, Dean changed his picture. <laughs> so these guys are st still uh, keeping it close for this first, so almost everybody was is in uh, within a second of each other, which is nice. So we check in with Jesse as we come around for the very first lap. So he gets a bonus point for one lap led, and I'm sure he'll get a couple more as well. And also uh, right now with the 134.8 is the fastest lap of the day. So if he can hold on to that, he'll get a second bonus point. And of course we give out three bonus points 
for everyone who has a clean race with no incident points, no off tracks, no spins, no hitting each other, uh, no disco balls in the air, and uh, not cutting the grass. Uh, looks like Daniel is already in pit lane. He must have had some damage. Maybe one of those cars that took a spin on the first part of lap. And let's start getting a little closer into the action. What do you think about that? Oh, that's a great shot. I love that shot with all the cars coming down and they pop up right before that hill. So coming into the second to the last corner. Right. See, you, you wondered if the cars were going to run over your head. There it was. <laughs> Did you like that? <laughs> all right. So a lot of things have been shaken up since the uh, initial start of the race uh, past the grid. So do you want to go over the leaderboard? Yep. Um, first place is Jesse Olsen, then Vincent Ciro, Cernudo, Cernudo, then Matthew, Michael, Justin, Olivier, Eric, Ryan, Matt, Dean, Kevin, Robert, Skyler, The Justin, <laughs> Chris Wells, Banana Man, Andrew Gatorade. <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas, Bjorn, Daniel, and you. Yep, but I'm not racing since I we are recording this live as everybody else races. So we do have the option of running the replay. Uh, oh, as someone's going for the lead, and it looks like Vincent and Jesse are side by side, but Jesse has the inside line going up through that tight right-hander and does uh, not necessarily want to push, but <laughs> but Vincent is there flashing his lights, letting them know like, hey man, I thought we were giving each other some space. Uh, but he, he quickly got back in the line as this uh, first five or six. So there is Ali already up to fifth place after starting way in the back. And now he is the sole leader for the Shake and Bake Award. Uh, Eric fell down one, but uh, Ali moved up to 13. So we do have an option here. We can check to see what happened with Daniel. <laughs> There's the small. Yep, and oh, there he looks like he got bumped on the way out right there. So not a lot of big damage, but he did go ahead and take he did take the repair in the pits. So cresting over the hill, uh, still a seven car battle, and in the back of that is uh, Justin Hall from Shut Up and Drive It. There we go, get the right camera angle. And coming across for lap number four for the group, and they're still all tight. So Ollie now throwing down the fastest lap time. He took it away from Jesse with the 129.4. And a lot of guys now are starting to get their tires up to temp, and you're gonna see a lot more green coming up on the next lap or two uh, before the tires start falling off again. Oh, and we have another crash, unfortunately. Uh, looks like Eric has crashed this time. Chicken leg. Oh, there he goes. He went, oh no, who did he take out uh, coming back on track? I know that wasn't his fault. He was out of control at that point. So that had to be uh, either Chris Wells or Kevin Medita. So there's Kevin Medita right there. So it might have been Chris Wells, unfortunately. So hopefully we'll see him uh, come back into the pack. So going back up to the front, looks like Vincent did go ahead and take the lead. And we'll check that. Here we go, taking a taking the long way around the corner. Uh, looks like on the very last corner uh, before the start finish straight, maybe. Uh, on the replay, it doesn't show the track map, so I couldn't tell you. Up oh, uh, going to the infield section. So he did get on the outside, taking the way on that 180 degree uh, through there. So he did swap with with Jesse and maybe Jesse wants to ride around a little bit. So something with, oh no, we have another crash as well. As everyone's coming through and Vincent throwing his fastest lap of a 130.1, uh, uh, Skylar Gregg took a crash as well. Oh, there he is going backwards around that infield section. Hopefully uh, no one ended up taking him out. Nope, it's clean. He let everybody through. Nice job. I know that's not where he wants to be in the back, but uh, he will probably make you so. Oh, what happened to Jesse? Jesse went back. Uh, oh, there's two cars that look almost the same. My bad. <laughs> so Jesse's still in second. 
So the other Porsche that's in there, uh, I think that's Michael Day as well, as uh, Ali was making an inside move on Michael Day and takes over four spots. Okay. Uh, it's point time. Okay, give out some points. 520 points. 520 points? I think they'll take it. Going to get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Let's go. So the the front uh, the front pack still going strong, but let's also check in with this backpack as well. So there's your lone Ferrari with Nicholas Vincent in there, and he is on the back of uh, Chris Wells. Uh, but these guys are all still pretty close to each other, as you see the freight train is. We'll, we'll start moving up through here. And there's uh, Andrew. Oh no, that was uh, Justin Hall, uh, the non shut up and drive it. That was on the inside of the grass, unfortunately. Uh, so he lost out on a few positions. He was running really good. And you know, some days he is just on it and right up in the front messing with these guys. But he was part of the part of lead pack, unfortunately, and, and uh, is gonna have to drop back and fight his way back. But it uh, doesn't matter where you are, the front of the pack or the back of the pack, uh, these guys are racy all over as Andrew's got a great run and decides to keep the tent. Oh, Banana Man goes on the inside and don't know if he actually got into uh, the uh, back of Eric right through there, but that looked awful racy. Oh no, we got another crash with Michael Day. Oh, oh just, uh, just a big spin. So that's not too bad. Um, unfortunately, we'll have to wait until everybody goes through. All right, back up front with Vinson who is now leading the race, uh, has broken out a one second gap over Jesse Olsen, uh, along with uh, Ollie and Matt right in tow, as Ollie was just moving right through the field, now 15 places from where he started from originally. Do you think that's pretty good? Yeah. yeah okay, you can't just shake your head, they can't see that. <laughs> Are you tired? Are you way past your bedtime? Is school wearing you out? No. No? Okay. I don't know. So what do you think about the new track? It's good. What What's good about it? It's got a bunch of turns. <laughs> it has a bunch of turns. Oh, and Chris Wells crashed. Oh, let's take a quick, a, a quick, a quick. <laughs> let's take a quick look at what happened there. Uh, look, looks like he might have lost the back end, and yep, he did. Carried too much speed going in that downhill section. A little too much trail braking, and unfortunately, it will uh, will let that back end slide around. Seems a few people now are doing that stuff. Yeah, so uh, like we had mentioned before, this is a new track for the Martin Sports Car Club League. This is the first time that we are here. And even though the track's been out for a few weeks, I know everyone concentrates on the next track that comes up. So uh, we did have uh, some practices uh, over last week, but it uh, looks like everyone is still trying to find their way through here as uh, Daniel Ciro is trying to get past Chris Wells in the pair of BMW M4 GT3s. And way out in the back, Kevin Medita looks like he had to go into the pits and get some, uh, some uh, car, get his car fixed, get something fixed on his car, and he'll come through. So it goes Daniel on the inside. So Chris being the gentleman, he knows that uh, Daniel does put down some pretty quick lap times and is gonna let him go through and maybe tag along and try to use some of his draft to get him forward and they can both work together and move back up as they are going to try to make a 12 second gap uh, to catch up to Skylar Gregg. Go ahead, Lex. I think Olivier has moved up a lot of spaces. <laughs> he has. <laughs> He's moving up to uh, put him in his right place in first place. Because in the beginning of the race, it seems Jesse stole his place in qualifying. No, <laughs> he did. I, I don't know if Ollie actually wanted to qualify or maybe he went off track and wasn't able to put in a time uh, but he did start towards the back and um, he made quick work of going through the field I can tell you that so here we're going to turn one as Justin Hall and Skylar Gregg making their way through and they're trying to uh, get back on pace to get uh, some of these other guys here so what's interesting about this week is going to be the fuel uh, consumption the cars are usually set with enough fuel in them somewhere in between 45 and 55 percent depending on the track to allow them to get into a, a almost a mandatory pit stop uh, somewhere between you know lap 7 and 15 you know right around there so that we can finish the rest of the race 
Uh, but this week, uh, Brad is from Shut Up and Drive It is the fuel calculator guru, and he has been moving his house and was, wasn't able to uh, give us a fuel calc, and I didn't have time to run a lot of time either to figure it out, so we left it at 50%. And what makes that interesting is that it depends how you drive the course and how much fuel you use. There are some people that if they watch their fuel consumption can end up getting uh, almost, they can get their 20 laps in on the single tank of gas, but if you drive it too hard, you're gonna have to make a stop for just a splash and go. So we're gonna keep an eye on how some of these guys are gonna drive this race and, and how it's gonna work out. So it looks like we do have a crasher. Mr. Eric Lightsey, Mr. Chicken Legs. Oh, he just went right, right off. Guess I must have locked up and went through and he comes back on right in front of Nicholas Vincent in the lone Ferrari. So that moves up Banana Man up to 11th spot. Uh, so he's been turning on here pretty quick lately. All right, so there's Vincent working a just over one second lead back but uh, Ollie is all over the back of Jesse Olsen so this is a very slippery track in a lot of areas and mostly because of the elevations and off cambered corners there most of these corners are not cambered towards the inside of the apex which usually helps drivers out carry more speed some of them are actually cambered away from the apex which allows you know and, and wants the back end to come through and some of these corners like the last one you just saw there does have a dip right at the apex as does uh, the second turn as well does have a dip so oh lexi you didn't remind me look what lap it is oh lap 10. lap 10 so you get to pick somebody and we get to name the corners how about jesse you want to go with jesse Okay, well, we'll wait till he gets around for lap 11 so we can get a full lap in because he just went back by the start finish. So there goes there goes uh, Ollie on the outside and now they're going side by side, going into one of the back sections. So this is a drag race all the way back to the end as uh, Jesse dips a wheel in that 911. Glad he was able to uh, keep the back end planted because some of these corners that they have uh, will allow you, as Jesse gets the inside braking done and Ollie takes a later turn maybe to try inside over under move, and decides just to uh, stay back in line. There's still a lot of racing to go. This is going to be a very fast race this week with the minute 130s, 129s for some of the leaders' lap times. And uh, we, you know, obviously, first time here, uh, we're going to take a bunch of notes. Oh, and <laughs> almost sawing off the back end as Ollie on the back of that Porsche 911 for Apple computers uh, for Jesse. Unfortunately, I, I did make a livery for him to match the other Martin Sports Car Club uh, liveries but it was uh, too late before uh, he was already in the session uh, before I posted it. So uh, we'll get that next time he's out. And uh, Z3 are really keeping it close and Matthew now all over the back of Ollie. So something is gonna break through here. And with these guys fighting as they are, it gives a chance for Vincent to move out to a one point second lead. All right, so we're gonna get into Jesse's car and coming in the first corner, great shot right there. Nikki Alada nice job nikki lauda curve and through another this is probably the longest straight through here even though it's not technically straight but straight enough oh as you can see vincent on the left <laughs> they're going on the inside oh boy i hope this ends well going into remus, remus curve close you're getting better at this and uh probably the second maybe third longest straights it's it's tough between the front straight and this straight they're on right now uh, going into a 180 that kind of falls away from you as Vincent, uh, I'm sorry, Matthew gets into third place in this corner. School gold. Schlosh gold. Mm -hmm. Close. Yep. So then uh, coming through the infield section through this curve right here where Chris Wells lost the back end. Ranch. Rosh. Yeah, I'm not Austrian, but um, followed by another slippery curve coming through here. Worth, you are you. I'll tell you what, I think you're Austrian. So, uh, third, fourth straight coming into another downhill off camera section. Rigid. <laughs> Rint. Rint. And uh, this I, one's easy. You got this. Red Bull Mobile. Right there, Red Bull Mobile. And there is your one lap of the Red Bull Ring. Maybe that was just on time. 
<laughs> that was. Look at these guys going. I got to get in. Oh, no, they took each other out. No, that's not supposed to happen. So that just an easy second place for uh, Ollie to get some space in between. Now he can get his sights set on uh, Vincent, see if he can close that gap. And let's get back to that and see exactly what happened as they're coming through. And, uh, oh, Jesse, I don't know if that was net code. It didn't look like they actually touched, but Jesse did spin. I don't know if he did that on his own or not. Uh, man, that, that really stinks. He lost quite a few places right there, but he will be able to make some of those back, no doubt, as he's now giving chase to Ryan and then get past Matt. So there is still a chance for Jesse to get back onto uh, the podium, but he's got a lot of work ahead of him in the next eight laps. All right, moving back. So we're going to go to Nicholas Vincent, who is I, really loving that Ferrari. Look at him keeping keeping up and giving chase as the Sooty boys there. Uh, all three of them uh, are there side by side. And uh, somebody have noticed I haven't mentioned so far. I hate to say it. There he is, Mr. Bjorn in his uh, Lamborghini. Uh, I'm not sure if he actually had a spin or not, uh, but uh, running in 20th place. And uh, hopefully he's doing okay. Uh, we do have, oh, we do have a crash, and this might be an actual big one with Justin Hall as he spins it around and, oh, oh. gets T-boned by looks like uh, Skylar Gregg, and he immediately jumped into the pits uh, to get that repair. And hopefully, uh, nope, I, he might have disconnected on that one. Yep, Eric Lightsey uh, also went into the pits as well. There he is, backing in, um, having a rough day. I know he is, I know he's also busy as well, has not been able to put in uh, the time that he wished that he could have. And I think a lot of us are finding that. I'm not sure about what's going on with maybe the end of summer, first day of school for kids, uh, just trying to, you know, families getting back to normal. But I know a lot of guys have not been able to practice as, as much as they can. So here is Kevin Medita now closing in on Chris Wells as moving through as they get through lap number 13 for them. And uh, uh, Chris is nine seconds back from Daniel, I like to see the twin cars. What do you think of the team cars and the colors for everybody this year? Cool. Yep. Yeah, one thing that's not showing up this week, unfortunately, is uh, Team Tennessee is not running any deliveries. Uh, Craig is out of town. Michael uh, had some family stuff to do. I'm doing a live broadcast because I have things that I have to do for the rest of the week that I can't do the recorded broadcast later. So I didn't want everyone to wait. And uh, Matt Jackson is, uh, I think, on tour uh, with his company so we're we're kind of short on the tn guys but uh, nonetheless uh, it's a long season so we'll we'll make do and, and come back so ollie i and and nicholas are the only two guys that are able to grab points for this week so they're so far so good as these guys are going so 2.5 can you remember that 2.5 yes 2.5 and we're going to see if, if oliver is going to be able to close down on vincent to make a race for the uh, towards the finish with only six laps to go. What you got? 2.5. Two, oh, you're going to tell me now 2.5? Okay. Well, well, we'll keep a hold of it to uh, see what's in the neck of it. So here's, uh, let's see how Jesse's doing after his spin. Uh, no harm, no harm to the car, which is good. And he is now closing up on the back of Ryan Flannery within half a second. And this is going to be a tough one, I think, uh, getting through. Because there's a couple fast ports uh, between him and uh, Matt Carroll as well. But he is definitely closing that gap. You can see that visually now as he's taking a little bit wider turn, uh, using up as much of the curb, which, you know, this track being a new track does have a lot of track limits that have changed, uh, which is good. So we do have a pass as Daniel goes on the inside into the braking zone, hard on the brakes from Skyler. Oh, and almost parks it. <laughs> and, you know, Skyler had to uh, back out on that and make sure that he was able to get through the corner through that. So uh, so I'm sure Skyler is not going to take lightly as that. He already looks like he's trying to get that position back. And we will keep an eye on something like that as well. So Ali now 2.3 seconds. So moving up closely, 
Uh, might want to go ahead and hit the turbo unless he's fuel saving. And again, this is going to come down to lap number 19, who is going to take fuel and who is going to take the gamble and the risk to see if they can make all 20 laps uh, without taking a fuel stop. So with that, I don't think anyone up front has taken the fuel stop yet. Have you, do you see anybody, anybody in the front take any pits? I don't know. Haven't seen any? Mm -mm. I don't think so. All do right. What, when do you want me to like remind you of that number? <laughs> uh, when it gets, uh, when it gets a little bit closer. So here's somebody you haven't talked about either is, uh, either of these guys, Michael Day or, um, or uh, Dean Dibdahl uh, through there. So Dean, we can no longer say is the 13 year old that beats up on all the, uh, the older drivers, you know, cause now he's 14, <laughs> he's, he's still up there. So he's in seventh place, having a great race. And what's, what's great about something you can talk about with Dean's talent, and I hope we don't give him the commentary curse, uh, is Dean bought this track probably five or 10 minutes before the hosted 50 minute practice session opened. So uh, he is doing well to be in the top 10 on seventh. Uh, I know he's six seconds back from Ryan, but if he can hold off, you know, Michael Day and Robert and make sure he can end up with a top 10 finish, that would be a great result for him and NZP Motorsports. Uh, we do have a couple passes. So we have, oh, drag racing down to turn one. And Chris was not going to defend the inside and gives it to Kevin as he gets a great run. And now back through there. And uh, Jesse Olsen as well. Uh, same spot. So this seems to be a real good passing zone to get through there as they each give each other some room uh, moving forward. They don't want to hold each other up because they both are fast and they both want to get to the front. So hopefully I'm not making everybody sick with the screen <laughs> flashing in and out uh, as much, but I don't want to miss any of the action that we have. And oh, we do have another crasher. Uh, looks like Skylar Gregg this time. Um, and he's already got some damage to the front end of that car. And well, not so much a crash. He just went so slowly. The system thought it was a crash. And we're going to go right into uh, where it says Justin Hall. Uh, also with some more front end damage. Uh, what? Oh, no. Oh, no, I pushed the wrong button. Oh, excuse me, but I got to go back and do that one again because I was looking for the slow-mo button. <laughs> and there it comes. He has lost the back end, getting a little too far off, and he may be able to save this before he gets to the Armco, and he does. So that's good for him. All right, so now we are back live. Sorry about that. <laughs> Am I making you sick with all those, Lexi? No. No? Okay. I'm just you're tired well let's make you untired and go ahead and go down the leaderboard probably for the the last time okay vincent in first place and oliver in second remember what was that number you were supposed to remember two one, which is now down to 0.5 so we made up two seconds in about three laps so i don't have to remember that you don't have to remember that anymore <laughs> <laughs> followed by Jesse, Ryan, Dean, Michael, Robert, Andrew, Banana Man, Justin Smalls, <laughs> <laughs> Nicholas, Daniel, Skyler, Kevin, Kevin, Crispy Wells, and Bjorn, Eric, the Justin Hall, and you. <laughs> Yep, so here's uh, Andy Gatorick. Uh, he's pretty much, he's running by himself. He's got a, a big pad in front of him and behind him. And um, I just want to correct, oh, <laughs> commentator's curse. Look at that. He had nothing, nobody in front of him behind him and unfortunately went off track. Sorry, Andy. Uh, but just wanted to point out that, uh, yes, his, his helmet is uh, Sebastian Vettel and it looks like maybe a mashup from the Cougar uh, from Talladega Nights. Uh, but I do want to say that he does not race for Jaguar. Like I said, I was thinking of a, a green uh, company that races green cars. And it was actually Aston Martin. So I just wanted to say that. So I want to thank the guys uh, on Facebook for correcting me on that so we can get that going straight. So I here we go, lap 18. I'm not seeing anybody go into the pits, but I've got to be able to get this 
part up here which looks like it is getting close now and let's uh, find out when Ollie is going to go ahead and, and make his move. You think they're going to make it all the way on fuel? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, wait. Somebody went in. What happened? Vincent? Oh, they're going back. Oh, so he does. Here we go. Vincent had to take fuel as he gets through. Three people are out. Yep. Oh, Eric did leave and uh, so did Justin Hall, unfortunately. So Vincent uh, is the only guy to take. So with one lap to go, he was burning up way too much fuel. And that gives Ollie the lead of the race. And as you can see, it is almost so detrimental being able or have to take a pit stop. Even though it was a splash, you know, less than a get, he, you know, drops him down nine places. Lap 19. Lap 19. So two laps to go. This is going to be an interesting race. Um, so Ali is out there at the front. Michael Day did finally get past Dean Dibdahl uh, as they're racing very force. And you can see that they both were giving each other some room, which is really great that uh, for the sake of clean racing, uh, as they hit that apex bump, which is just disastrous for some people as they're working on some lap traffic. There's Bjorn moving over as well, uh, another great gentleman driver. So that's one thing that's really great about this league is uh, the amount of respect that everybody gives each other when it's it's time to race and they know who's faster and they do oh no matt montalvo gave it a crash and back end gets loose and here he goes saved it once saved it twice and not able to save it again so i hope there's not a wall in his future and looks like there is right there oh unfortunately so hopefully he can get back on track and finish this up and lump that car home so we are on a uh, white flag a white flag which is the 20th lap which is also the used to scream it all the time last lap, uh, last lap. <laughs> i thought i screamed you know checker yeah so matt did have to go into the pit i don't know if it was for fuel or to fix uh his car but it looks like Ollie is taking the fuel gamble along with Matt and Jesse, just like we were talking about, was able to, uh, is looking at a podium position if he has enough fuel, but he has Ryan Flannery all over the back of him. So how is this one gonna work out? Not really sure. So only two close races right now. We're gonna go and check on the other one for a second as Daniel now is giving chase to Justin Hall, uh, rocking in 10th place with the battered up uh, Mercedes in the front. But we're gonna get back here to these front guys. This is gonna be interesting. So here we are with about a little less than half a lap left. And oh no, as they're gonna go side by side. So maybe Jesse is now fuel saving as he gives room for Matt Carroll to go through, but they're still going side by side. He is playing the gasoline numbers game as now everyone is up front. Uh, within a second of each other. So here we are, last two corners coming through. Matt Carroll saving his fuel for the whole entire race. Does he have enough to get to the finish line? Do you think so? Yes. Yes, I'm pretty sure you are right. He did. <laughs> oh, and there goes Ollie. He's such a gamble. Ollie, uh, flag. he got beat out by three hundredths of a second, probably running out of fuel at the end. Jesse got uh, second place for him as he goes through. <laughs> and there's Ollie. Uh, so there are your top three. It was Matt, Jesse, and Olivier. Uh, let's see if we can catch out who is still. So coming through here, Matt Montavo, who had to take the pit. has got Banana Man all over the back of him as well. And he is going to save that for 11th spot as Justin comes through and Nick Vincent as well. There he goes. Uh, he was able to fuel save and not take any pit. So interesting race. Uh, unfortunately, we're going to learn a lot for next year. Oh, he quickly turns that one off. He doesn't want to take any incident points. I wonder if he ended up, if he had any incident points, which was nice. We so wanted those those three extra bonus points. As it uh, looks like Chris Wells. Uh, where did Chris Wells go? There he is. So he is the last one to cross the line. Just want to make sure we get him. And I wonder if he's going to think he's going to flash the lights. Probably. Probably. And he didn't. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So Chris is our last one 
through there and uh what what do you think of that race great that was great that did have some excitement there so at the end oh yeah you people on the change of points <laughs> yeah there was a lot of that going on so looking at the results uh matt carroll the fuel saving master comes through with a win and in first place followed by jesse olsen even after the spin was able to save fuel and get through and that's probably because he was drafting <laughs> somebody for a while but hey whatever works to get you back on the podium and you did an awesome job uh ollie who ran out of fuel at the very last uh is the top of the podium uh, followed by ryan flannery michael day dean dean dibdahl uh actually came in higher than we were watching him so he came in sixth place uh, great run for him in ZP Motorsports. Uh, Robert Elder in seventh. Vincent Cernudo had to take a pit into eighth. Andy Gatorick, uh, commentator's curse, <laughs> might have got him back to ninth. And Matt Montavo in tenth. Michael Cabrera just outside top ten, but a great result for him. And Justin Hall in twelfth. Uh, Daniel Ciro thirteenth. Nicholas Vincent in fourteenth. Good run. Uh, Skyler, Kevin, Chris all had issues, and so did Bjorn at the end, but they're following up uh, 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th. Um, outside of that, uh, the other guys unfortunately disconnected, uh, but nonetheless. So, what do you think of that? Good. Good. I like that um, bowl thing. It's big and huge and cool. <laughs> the big red bull sculpture. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. I uh, hope you had a good time here at the Red Bull Ring for the first time, and uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye. All right. Goodbye.